convert vector A, which is given in Cartesian form in three dimensions, to magnitude and direction cosines. We want to find alpha, beta, and gamma, where alpha is the angle between A and the x-axis. Beta is the angle between A and the y-axis, and gamma is the angle between A and the z-axis. The first thing to do is to find the magnitude. The magnitude of A we can find using the Pythagorean theorem. Square each of its components, add them up, Take the square root, and the magnitude of A is 4.76445 newtons. That's the magnitude. That's, you know, a part of what we want to do. The next thing we want to find is the direction cosines. The greatest thing about direction cosines is that the cosine of each of the angles, for example, cosine of alpha, is the x component of A over the magnitude of A. Once you started with Cartesian form, you already know what the x component of A is. This is just 1.5, and we just found the magnitude using the Pythagorean theorem, which was 4.76445. 4 so you can solve this for alpha, just take the arc cosine of that, and alpha is 71.649 degrees. Same thing with beta. Cosine of beta is Ay over the absolute value of A, which is minus 2.6 over 4.76445, and cosine of gamma is the z component over the magnitude of A, which is 3.7. You can solve each of these for beta and gamma. Beta is 123.07 degrees, and gamma is 39.051. You can check your work, because remember, this is a very important thing to remember when you're dealing with direction cosines. Cosine squared of alpha plus cosine squared of beta plus cosine squared of gamma has got to be equal to 1. You can prove that with the Pythagorean theorem yourself. If you take each of these values and plug them in, take the cosine, square them, you're going to get something that looks like this. is, in fact, equal to 1. Now, one thing that should be bothering you is that we start with something that only has three numbers, and we end up with four numbers. Because of this Pythagorean theorem restriction, it is sufficient to say A is 4.76 degrees, at 4.76 newtons, and give either of the two direction cosines. You do not have to give all three because of this restriction.